Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Open BLC Traffic Light and Switchboard Modules. In this tutorial, we will learn about Open BLC Traffic Light Module, Open BLC Switchboard Module. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 Operating System, Open PLC Traffic Light Module, Open PLC Switchboard Module, Open PLC Main Board, 24V 2Ampere SMPS. To follow this tutorial, you should know about Open PLC Main Board. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. First, we will learn about the Open PLC Traffic Light Module. This module is used to implement the working of traffic lights and visualize the status of any process with the built-in LEDs. This is a picture of the traffic light module. This module replicates a traffic light. It has one red LED marked as top and one yellow LED marked as ready. At the bottom, it has three green LEDs marked as left, go and right. You can access all these LEDs using the connectors present below. The red LED can also be accessed through the two connectors on the right of it. If you want to use a single LED, you can use these connectors. Let us see how to do simple experiments using a single LED. The anode and cathode of the red LED are given as connectors to the right of it. The anode is marked as plus 5 volt and cathode as GND which is ground. These connectors can be connected in three different ways. We will see one by one. We can connect plus 5 volt pin to 5 volt and ground pin to any IO pin of the microcontroller. Connect ground pin to 0 volt and plus 5 volt pin to any IO pin of the microcontroller. Otherwise, connect both plus 5 volt and ground pins to the IO pins of the microcontroller. We will see how to use LEDs with the connectors at the bottom of the module. Each LED's cathode is taken out through the connectors at the bottom of the module. Note that the rightmost pin marked as EN is not an LED connector. Each connector is marked with the first letter of the respective LED name. We will see one by one starting from right. RA is for green LED marked as right. S is for red LED marked as top. RE is for yellow LED marked as ready. G is for green LED marked as go. L is for green LED marked as left. EN is an active low enable pin which enables all the LED pins. To the left of the yellow LED, we can find a connector marked plus 5 volt. This is the power pin of the module. That is, none of the LED glows unless you make these two connections. Therefore, for any LED to glow, you should follow the below. Plus 5 volt pin should be given 5 volt. EN and the respective LED pin should be grounded or given a logic low signal. Now, we will see the working of the module. How can the traffic light module be powered? It can be powered using the output power pins of the main board. Connect the SMPS to the main board as shown here. First, we will see the demo of this module using the connectors available at the bottom. Connect 5V to the power pin that is plus 5V pin to the left of the yellow LED. Connect 0V to the EN pin. Then 
connect 0 volt to any of the LEDs. I am connecting it to the pins marked G, RE and S. Make the connections as shown in the picture. Remember to turn off the power supply when you change or make new connections. After making all the connections, turn on the power supply of the main board. The red, yellow and middle green LED has started glowing. Do not use IO pins of the main board to power up the pin marked plus 5 volt because it may affect the intensity of the LED. Now, disconnect the EN pin. We can observe that all LEDs go off. Turn off the power supply. Next, we will see the demo on how to use this module when a single LED is needed. Connect 5V to the plus 5V pin on the right of the red LED. Connect 0V to the pin marked GND. Turn on the power supply. This will make only the red LED to glow. Thus, there is no need to connect power and enable pins for this connection. Turn off the power supply. We have seen how traffic light module can be used in different ways. Now, we will learn about the Open PLC switchboard module. The goal of this module is to get familiarized with different types of switches. In particular, their usage in the real-time applications in industries. This module has 4 normally open switches, 4 normally closed switches, 2 latched action switches and LEDs for each switch. This is the switchboard module. In this module, there are three kinds of switches available. They are normally open, normally closed and latched action switches. Normally open is represented as NO and normally closed is represented as NC. Latched action switches are represented as L. We will now look at their arrangement on the module from bottom to top. At the bottom, we have two latched action switches. Above that, we have four normally closed and then four normally open switches. Above these switches, we have LEDs corresponding to each switch. The LEDs are arranged in the same order as that of switches. Each LED glow indicates a corresponding switch press. On the top, we have female bug connectors for connections. Next, we will see about the pins. Starting from the right, the first two pins are ground and 5 volts respectively. These are the input power pins of this module. Then we have 4 pins for 4 NO switches and 4 pins for 4 NC switches. The last two pins are for two latched action switches. NO and latched action switches must be connected to the IOS of the microcontroller. Only then the LEDs of the corresponding switches will work. LEDs of NC switches will work even if they are not connected to the IOS of the microcontroller. Now, we will learn how each type of the switch works. The output pin of an NO switch will read logic 0 when it is not pressed. When the switch is pressed, the output pin will read 5V. This is due to the supply from the microcontroller's internal pull-up resistor. The output pin of an NC switch will read 5V when it is not pressed. This is due to the supply from the microcontroller's internal pull-up resistor. Upon switch press, the output pin will read logic 0 or ground. Latched action switch is basically a push to make, push to break type of switch. That is, 
the output pin will read 5 volt when it is pressed for the first time. The output pin will read 0 volt when it is pressed for the second time. Working of the LED of a latched action switch corresponds to that of a NVO switch. How can the switchboard module be powered? It can be powered using the output power pins of the main board. We have learned about the different types of switches in the switchboard module. Using these modules, we will learn about LD micro instructions on open PLC in future tutorials. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about Open PLC traffic light module, Open PLC switchboard module. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from the FOSI team, signing off. Thanks for watching.